Hi Ruben, uh, how does it feel to have your second film in competition here in Cannes? Uh, great. Uh, <laughs> it, it, it feels great and it feels actually also like a big relief because uh, since the Square won the Golden Palm, I think all financiers, everybody that have been involved in the film is almost expecting the film to be in competition. Uh, so, and that has been the goal that we have been working towards. I have aimed for Cannes, I aimed for the screening in Lumiere, I'm aimed for having a tuxedo dressed audience that is uh, going to uh, have to deal with the content of the film. So, so when you get the news that it's uh, accepted for competition, then you're just happy and relieved. You've said that this is uh, a much bigger production that your, than your previous films. Uh, most of all, it's very expensive. Has this uh, affected you as a director? How did you have to work in a different way? I mean, it's basically it's twice the budget of the Square and Force Majeure. It's not super expensive if you compare it with maybe like bigger blockbuster, like the big American productions. But uh, it it's, it is a, how to say complicated film to do because it takes place in the fashion world on a luxury yacht and a deserted island and we shot it during uh, the pandemic uh, so we were constantly nervous that we had to shut down the, the production and um, uh, when you are shooting and everything is going well then then you're not nervous about these things then you're just happy that you are on on location and that you are working but then when you're starting to put things together and you are dealing with the complexity of trying to put the film together with these three different setups, then uh, then there's a lot of it's like an emotional roller coaster before you feel like ah now it's working. I'm not personally nervous like because of the budget is higher. I, I just know that there's more people involved that have an expectation like and, and want wants their money back basically. They want uh, to, to screen the film in the cinemas and they want the audience to come and uh, yeah so you feel I feel responsible for them of course. So, of course, all your focus is on this film and it's premiering and screening here in Cannes. But have you already started thinking about what kind of project you want to do next? Yes. <clears throat> uh, it takes place on a long haul flight and the title is The Entertainment System is Down. So I think you get to just by saying that, right, what it's about. So, uh, yeah, and I I'm, I'm, have now started to collect ideas. People have so many funny stories about what they have experienced on a flight. And it's something interesting with, uh, with, uh, with the flight, I mean, with the airplane, because it has its structure, its hierarchies, its classes, and it's almost like a sociological lab uh, when it comes to looking at human behavior. <clears throat> and that fits me perfectly. And all your previous films have been uh, screened in Cannes, basically the, the last couple of films. Do you think can will be the goal for this film as well or do you have something else in mind? No, uh, I have not started to think about this yet but uh, uh, as, as, I mean, the great thing with Cannes is that you have the, the cinema's world's eyes on you when you are presenting your film and that of course you want to be a part of that. Of course you want to be, let your film be presented in the best possible arena and so yes, of course we're aiming to come again. Thank you.